This simple Final Cut Pro fade in and out trick changed everything for me. In this video, I'll show you nine ways to fade in and out, including the fastest, a one-click effect that I invented. I'll show you how to fade both audio and video, and at the end, I'm gonna hook you up with 96 Final Cut Pro templates, including my one-click fade effect. But first, fade to black. All right, the first way to fade is to use keyframes. I've got a clip in my timeline. Let's go to the beginning of it here and make sure my clip is selected and then open up the inspector. If you don't see it open, just click on this button up here with the three sliders. And under the video inspector, let's set a keyframe here for opacity. And then let's move forward, oh, about 30 frames. I'll hold down shift and click right arrow and I'll push right arrow three times. So that moves forward 10 frames each time. So right now I'm at 30 frames. And then I'll set a keyframe. We'll click the back keyframe button to go to the first one and let's set that value Value to zero. Now when I play that back, you'll see we fade from black to this bad boy. Oh, he's in so much trouble. All right, let's fade out as well. Let's fade to black. So I'll go to the end of my clip and then I'll hold down shift. I'm gonna press left arrow three times to get to about 30 seconds. Make sure my clip is selected. And then in the inspector, I'll add another keyframe. And then I'm just going to push down arrow to go to the end of my clip and then left arrow. And now I'm on the last frame of this clip and I'm going to drag my slider down to zero and it will automatically create a new keyframe. So now it will fade out. Nice. Now you can adjust your keyframes by selecting your clip and right clicking on it and selecting show video animation or just press control V. And it brings up this animation work area. And we can see right here, it says compositing opacity. We see these two little dots here. Those are our keyframes. So if I want the animation to happen faster, I'll move my keyframes closer together. Or if I want the animation to be slower, I'll drag a keyframe away. So now we will fade in quickly and fade out slowly as he thinks about his poor life decisions. So this keyframing is really handy, but there's an even faster way I can't wait to show you. But first, I wanna show you how to fade using transitions. In Final Cut Pro, over on the right-hand side, click on the transition browser to open it up, and then click on Dissolves. Drag this cross dissolve to your clip, like so. And you'll see it added this dissolve at the very beginning. So now, if we play it through, we've got a quick fade in. And if I want to make it longer, I can click and drag on this transition to make it a longer fade or a shorter, faster fade. I can also select it and press Control D to bring up this duration change, and I can enter my number. Let's say we want a five, zero, zero, five second fade. Press Enter. And now over five seconds, it fades in for us. So now let's fade out. I'll drag and drop cross dissolve to my transition here at the end. And there's not enough media, so it's asking if I wanna create the transition and adjust the media. I'll say yes, create the transition. And here's our fade out. If I select the transition and go up to the inspector, I can change some information about this. I can change the look of it. We can do like a film fade. I can also change how it fades. Does it fade quickly or slowly? And I can also change the ease amount. So if we increase this, we should have a more smooth fade. Let's say you don't wanna to fade to black. You wanna to fade to another color. Well, we have this transition in here called fade to color. So I'll drag and drop that onto my clips. And then with it selected, I'll go up to the inspector and I can change this color. I'll click here and I'll select my new color. We'll try this purple. So now I fade out to a purple instead of a black. If we put the cursor in the middle of the transition and go up here into the inspector, I can change where it's halfway done fading. So if I want it to fade later on, I'll move it to the right. If I want it to fade quicker and faster, I'll move it to the left. We can also do a hold for a certain number of frames. All right, I have a clip here of me doing a tutorial and I got my logo here, but I wanna animate it on and off so that it doesn't just show up and then disappear. We could use keyframes or transitions like we have before, but I have an even faster way. So first I'll select my icon or my logo, and then in the viewer, I'm gonna right click and select transform. And I'm going to click and drag on one of these corner handles to change the size. And then I'll just click and drag down here to change the position and we'll set it right down there. Then I'll press done. Now with my logo selected, I'll press control V to bring up that animation controls. And then on this compositing opacity, I'll click this little button here to open it up. And you'll see we have this line here. That's our opacity. If I click and drag down on it, I'm turning the opacity down. See how we can see through that logo? Well, I don't have to keyframe it. I can also grab these little handles right here. And if I click and drag that handle to the right, I've created a fade in. If I grab this one over here on the right and click and drag it to the left, then I've created a fade out. Now my logo fades on. It's on screen for a little bit and then it fades out. That's pretty cool. When you're doing this, make sure you get the left and right arrow icon. Then you'll be able to select that handle and quickly add a fade. So this is a really fast way, but there's an even faster way I'm gonna show you in a little bit. I love that trick. Isn't it so quick and easy? If you love this video, will you please give it a thumbs up so other people will find it? 
Thanks so much. In just a second, I'm gonna show you that one click effect for quick and fast fade in and outs. But first I wanna show you how to fade out a bunch of layers or clips at once. Let's say you have a bunch of stuff here at once. I've got these two clips here that I change between, I have a title on here and I want to fade out at the end. So what I could do is select this and press Command T to add a dissolve. That only works on the video. I have to select this one and press Command T and this one, Command T. And sure, now they all fade out, but it's not that good because now we're seeing some of the layers below each other. So there's a better way to fade everything out at once. Let's undo that and go to the end of my clip here. And then I'm going to just press negative three zero and that's gonna move my playhead back 30 frames. Then I'll press I to set an endpoint, and you'll see that it selects this bottom layer here. And then I'll go over here to generators. I'll click on the title generator browser and I'll go down here to solids and I'll select this custom one and press Q to append it. It attached where my playhead was and it went to just the end of it. So now we have four layers. We've got our two video layers, a title, and then this black layer here. And what happens is it just covers it up. So I'll select that generator and I'll press control V and let's use that same trick. Let's open up the opacity here, grab these handles and we'll do a fade in over the entire clip or generator. I'll press control V to close that. All right, now let's take a look at that fade out. Nice. I can also use it to do a fade in. If we move this to the beginning of the clip, and let's move this video clip up to the beginning as well, and then select my generator, press Control V, and open up compositing. We're gonna take this handle and move it back over here, and then we'll grab the right side handle and do fade out. All right, let's check it out. So it starts off black, it fades in, I see my title, my videos, perfect. Now let's look at fading audio. I've got a clip here with me talking, and I want to add some audio fade to that. So I'll go up to modify and then adjust audio fades and I can select apply fades. And you'll see right here in the corners or on the sides, it added a fade in and out. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn. I can go to modify and select remove those fades and you'll see that they're gone. I can also just add a fade in or a fade out if I want. All right, once I've created a fade in with my audio handles, I can right click on it. I get these options. Linear will make the audio fade in equally over time. S curve, it kind of eases in and out of the fade and then plus three dBs, it's a quick fade in or negative three dB is a slow fade in. Another quick way to add fades is right in the timeline. With my clip selected, I'm gonna to go to the beginning and I can see this little icon right here, this audio fade handle, and I'm gonna hover over it until I get a left and right arrows. And now I'm gonna click and drag to the right. And I'm gonna create this fade in. You can see it fading the audio in. So now it sounds this like video, this. video, I'm gonna show you how to show you. Starts quiet and then builds up. I can also do a fade out. Click and drag over this fade handle at the end and we can create a fade out. Blade tool in Final Cut Pro. We can also fade audio using transitions. I'll go back to my transition browser and I'm gonna drag and drop this cross dissolve onto my audio clip. And you'll see it added a transition at the end and the beginning and it put it in this little storyline and it's connected to my primary storyline. Let's zoom in on the beginning of this. Now, because there's no video, it's just audio, it's going to fade in the audio. Let's take a listen. I can make the fade longer by clicking and dragging on the handle or shorter. Let's make a long fade in. If I select this transition and go up to the inspector, we can ignore the video component of it, but right here we can change the different curve or fade in types for our audio, just like we did before with the fade handles. All right, check out this clip. I've got some music and then this me video, talking. I'm show you how to turn off the blade tool and turn off I can barely hear myself, right? So there's a cool way we can fade the audio out so that we can hear myself better. Press R to bring up the range selection tool and then click and drag on the audio where you want it to fade in and out. So I want the audio to be lower here. So now I'll press control minus several times and you'll see it's lowering the volume of the music. And now if I play it back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn off the blade tool. And you can hear the music went down and now I can hear myself talk. Let's take a closer look. I'll zoom in by pressing Z and dragging around this area and even closer, let's get here. Let's go even closer. There we go. You'll see these two dots, these are keyframes. I can click on those and move them around to adjust the fade. And then I can right click on it and select delete keyframe if I want. This technique of lowering the volume of one track so you can hear another one better is called audio ducking. All right, so there's a few different ways to fade. And while some of them are pretty quick, there's an even faster way a drag and drop effect. Unfortunately, Final Cut Pro doesn't come with any sort of effects that you can just drag and drop. So I made one, check it out. I'll go to the effects browser by clicking that button and I'll go down to here to stupid raisins and I have this fade in out effect. I just click and drag and drop it onto my clip. And just like that, I have a fade in and a fade out. What's cool about this is I can customize it. In the inspector, I can change the fade in and out time so I can make a longer fade or a faster, shorter fade. I can also offset the fade. So I can say, don't fade in right away, wait 12 frames. Or in 
the end, I can say end the fade out 15 frames before the end. So now I'll be darker longer and then I'll fade in over a long period of time because I changed it to 73 frames and then it'll start to fade out and it will end fading out 15 frames before the end of the clip. So it's highly customizable, it's really fast. You can get this fade effect for free. I put it together with a bunch of other titles and transitions and effects, and I call it the All-Star Pack. It's a free gift, all you have to do is click on the link in the description below. Happy editing.